Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. I know I am. I've just got some very good news about the mortgage that I'm going for for a house and it looks like I may just be accepted to actually get a mortgage. So that's very, very happy and I'm very excited. Uh, but anyway, in today's video, what we're actually going to be doing is taking a look at the brand new item which is called the Eye of the Storm Tracker in Fortnite Battle Royale. I'm also going to be leaking a couple of more different things that are going to be added to the game in the next couple of weeks. They're very exciting, so please guys, stay tuned throughout the whole video as it does pose some very important leaked information that you guys are going to want to know. Uh, but before we do get into today's video guys, do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches, guides and videos just like this one right here. And uh, yeah, let's get into it right now. So as you can see on screen right now, I've actually got my Omega suit on and I have this weird looking back bling. Okay, sorry about that, I actually had a phone call, so very sorry. Uh, but like I said, it is like sort of a back bling and you guys may recognize this from a long time ago. There was actually a leak of a brand new skin coming out called the Rose Team Leader. So you'll probably be on screen right now. And with this actual thing itself, it was rumored that the Rose Team Leader would have a black bling that looked exactly like that. But unfortunately, it looks like Epic Games have yet again scrapped their plans for any sort of Founders Edition of the actual Fortnite game rewards, and they've actually put it straight into the game. Uh, but like I said, it's actually not a back bling. Weirdly enough, it's actually called a backpack item, and these are brand new items that are actually added into Fortnite Battle Royale as of the last update. Now, as of right now, this one item is actually really interesting, and I believe it doesn't break, but again, the use of it is very, very useful for at least a couple of minutes. And that basically what it is, is it's called the Eye of the Storm Tracker. And what this does is it basically tracks where the storm is going to be on the map. So basically, you'll see some gameplay with me actually equipping it in a little while. And basically what happens is once I've got it equipped, I look and equip it. I then look at my map and it'll actually show me where the next two zones for the storm is going to be. Now, other than that, I don't really know any other purpose for the actual thing itself. I believe it is just to kind of show you guys where the eye of the storm is going to land so that you can actually get like kind of in that area, build a huge base and kind of get ready for whatever may come. And now, unfortunately, it's not that great to actually use for a long like kind of time, you know, it's, it's it really isn't like it's only useful for around about like 10 minutes or something like that. Once you know exactly where these uh, things are going to be, you can just switch it out for another weapon because like I said, they're not that useful for a longevity issue. You know, if you if you want something that's going to last you the whole whole game, that's going to be useful to you, this is not that item, you know? Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, you know, there are other actual backpacks that have been added into the game. Of course, one of them being the jetpack itself. That is actually classed as a backpack item and it is going to be in the game for the remainder of the future. I mean, it's not just for the actual uh, close encounters kind of a uh, game type or anything like that. It's actually going to be the, for the remainder of the future. I guess this is kind of like, I don't know, like a trial and error kind of thing. Like, I really hope they don't get rid of them because they are very, very balanced. Weirdly enough, they're so freaking balanced. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, as you can see on screen right now, there is actually a screenshot from the in-game kind of files, uh, or I guess from the in-game patch notes that say right here and explains the backpacks themselves. And it says here, the jetpack is the first of a new item type, backpacks. Backpacks are a t backpacks take an inventory slot like weapons and consumables and can be moved to different positions. Only one backpack can be carried at a time. If you pick up a different backpack, it will automatically swap with the one that's currently equipped. And then it also goes on to say, when a backpack is fully consumed, it will be automatically destroyed. Now, one thing that I did notice about the Eye of the Storm is that I don't believe it can be destroyed. I'm sure that that one backpack, which is the Eye of the Storm, cannot be destroyed. So I'm not too sure if I was using it wrong or anything, but you will see the gameplay in the background. It is working. Um, but again, I'm not 100% sure what they mean by that. All I know is that when you do use the jetpack backpack, uh, basically that will get destroyed after a certain amount of time. Now moving on, it actually says here, while a backpack is equipped, your back bling cosmetics will be hidden. And also it says, back bling will be reapplied when the backpack is no longer equipped. So uh, that makes a lot of sense, you know, obviously it'd be really, really weird if there was like two different kind of backpacks on your back. And uh, yeah, it kind of makes it easier once people see that you've actually got a jetpack equipped, they can actually kind of uh, counter... Uh, counter your attack, you know, so they can kind of plan. So it's really good that they decide to do that because if not, somebody probably would have just used like the biggest back bling that you could and kind of hidden away 
all of the different kind of stuff that they was using. So I really like that. I really do. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, there is actually some more back packs that actually come into the game. It's so weird to have back blings and backpacks now. I don't know what to say when I'm trying to say it off the top of my head. Uh, but basically, there is a couple of new ones that are going to be added into the game in the near future. And there's actually some that are currently being tested out by Epic Games themselves. And uh, I'm pretty sure that I have screenshots on screen uh, in a second. And uh, if I don't, I apologize. I probably haven't been able to get them. Uh, but basically, I'm going to be going over the last one right here. It's only probably going to be one of them. And uh, as you can see here, we, we're looking at these test backpacks. And uh, these test backpacks are very interesting. It says here, AS test in-game item Unreal Asset. Then it says Unreal uh, Asset number three, number three. But also, I want to just kind of uh, point to these two right here. It says here, GA underscore test underscore in-game item three keen eyes and then it also says here ga test in-game item double jump now unfortunately i don't know exactly what these mean i mean a lot of you guys will probably think that it means the eye of the storm and the jetpack because obviously the eye of the storm kind of gives you a look at the storm's eye and also the double jump could actually be referring to the actual jetpack itself but I am actually happy to say that if you look to the left hand side of that, where all of these folders are, there's actually different kind of uh, packs here on the side. And uh, as you can see, one is the missile battery pack, one is the medic pack, which is very interesting. I'm going to have a separate video on that video, uh, on that uh, item, because it is very, very interesting. So make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, because I'll have that out throughout the week. Uh, but also we have the intel pack, the glider pack a glider, the Eye of the Slum Tracker, the Carmine Pack, which is the Thanos Glove, and also the Boost Jump Pack. So, obviously here, the Boost Jump Pack is actually going to be, uh, you know, that's actually going to be the Jet Pack itself. And then also we've got the Eye of the Storm Tracker. So obviously these in-game test packs that we're seeing right now are completely different. Now, as to what they are, Unfortunately, we don't know. Obviously, the double jump one just sounds like you're going to be able to double jump, which would be really cool. And the key nines one, maybe it would be something like for a split moment in time, you can kind of see through walls or see kind of heat visions of people or something like that. That would be pretty interesting to see that added into the game, to be honest. I would, be, I would think that'd be really, really cool. But unfortunately, like I said, as of right now, we don't exactly know. Uh, but all I wanted to say is that I do have a load of videos planned for today and for the next couple of uh, days throughout this week. And uh, some of them do actually concern the medic pack, the missile battery, and also the glider pack. So please, guys, make sure to go and check out those videos. Do not miss out on that information because it is going to blow your mind on what actually they contain. I would also like to say guys that thank you very much for the recent support on the channel guys You know that I've been going through a little bit of a rough time right now in my life And uh, yeah, some of the comments that I've been seeing lately are very very supportive and I just really appreciate just the nicest little comments even if it's just something the silliest thing It kind of puts a smile on my face and kind of makes me you know a little bit more happy throughout the day So thank you very much for that and uh, yeah, I would also like to say that I've actually got something big going on on yeah, Facebook sometime very, very soon. It's like a huge Facebook kind of thing. And uh, yeah, basically, if you don't already follow me on my Facebook profile, go over there, like the page and follow it. And just kind of wait until I start live streaming on there. I know it's weird to live stream on Facebook as opposed to other places. But Facebook's a really good place to live stream on. And also, I will be doing exclusive giveaways on that page so you know if you do have a Facebook or anything like that go and follow it because the chances are half of my followers aren't gonna follow me on there but you know whoever do will have an increased chance on actually getting some giveaways of V books and even some skins when the skin kind of like gifting system gets added to the game so that's actually pretty cool too and uh, also I would like to say that I know a lot of you guys are very excited to see uh, Nathan on the on my videos and everything like that uh, today he has actually fallen asleep because he's super tired from school but uh, in the next couple of days I'll try and see if he wants to do videos with me and just kind of mess around on Fortnite and uh, yeah you should hopefully see at least one or two videos in the next two weeks with me and Nathan in it together so that should be very very fun uh, but anyway guys thank you very much for watching today's video I do hope that you enjoyed it tell me in the comment section below what you think about these brand new backpacks that have come to the game honestly I think they're absolutely crazy and uh, yeah Fortnite have some gahonies on them to try and test this stuff out so yeah very cool indeed uh, but anyway guys have an awesome day and until next time I've been Star Lord. Oh. See ya!